my failure is not final. And the reason I know my failure is not final is because if you did a roll call of all the disciples who abandoned Jesus at the cross, at the top of your list would have to be Simon, whose name was changed to Peter. And I don't know if you saw this while I was reading. It's something that I saw many years ago, but it still touches my heart. Every time I consider verse 7, but go tell his disciples and Peter and the one who failed me in the greatest way. Lately, I've been feeling for Peter. I've been feeling for him because, yes, he denied Christ, but I don't take the level of his disappointment as an indication of the absence of his faith. This is where I'm a little different than some people because a lot of people will think that if you are in many ways disappointed, it means you didn't have enough faith. I think quite the opposite. I think the greater your faith, sometimes the deeper your disappointment. The people who don't have any faith never get disappointed. They weren't believing for anything better. So when life sucks, they expected it. It is their defense mechanism. But the people who have believed for something and risked boldly for something, these are the people who have earned the right to be disappointed. Perhaps the reason that Peter's disappointment was so deep is because his faith was so great. And when he stood at the cross, something within him said, it can't end like this. I gave everything to follow this guy. I gave him my boat. I gave him my business. I gave him my life. I was willing to die for him. And when the moment came for him to prove the power that he preached so profoundly about, he went out like that. It can't end like this. I don't even want to be identified with him. I don't even want to be known as somebody who was close to him. No, I don't know him. I didn't sign up for this. This is not what I expected, but faith. Faith is a different lens. See, without faith, you have to interpret your expectation through the lens of your experience. So when you experience disappointment, you become a disappointed person. But by the power of faith, I interpret my experience through the lens of my expectation. And now I can stand in my failure and know that even if I deny him, even if I am faithless, even if I fall short of the glory of God, even if I wasn't the man I wanted to be, the husband I wanted to be, the child of God that I wanted to be, even if I can't get it right, God says, go tell Peter, I'm not finished with you yet. Tell Peter to start practicing, because in 50 days, when Pentecost comes, I'm going to need a preacher, and I'm not looking for somebody who's perfect. I need somebody who failed so badly. See, failure is not the end. Failure is the hinge that the door swings on to open wide to the grace of God. God said, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. One translation of Jeremiah 29 11 says, plans to give you an expected end. That means not only does God expect your victory, he anticipated your failure and already made provision. One thing the Bible calls Jesus is the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the world. You know what that means? God knew about the divorce before you did, and he still saved you. God knew about the failure before you did, and he still called you. God knew about the struggle that you didn't even know was going to take you by force. And he prophesied the recovery before the failure. Go tell Peter. Go tell. Can I put my name in? Can you put your name in? Go, go tell 
Go tell that one in the back of the room. That one who's sitting there so hard. That one that's trying not to cry at the end of Rudy. <laughs> Go tell Rudy. Go tell Peter. Go tell the least likely. It can't end like this. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the message, just do two simple things before you go. Click the logo to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss a video. I promise I'll make it worth your while. And second, take a minute and share it with somebody who could use it or just leave a comment. I love to hear how these videos are impacting you. It means a lot to me. Thanks again for watching.